Greetings. Happy Good Friday. I want to, to entitle this blog, It's a Family Affair. Today I attended a couple of events um, that really inspired me, that really motivated me to, to, to say this piece um, to the world. Um, it's the One, I went to the Dallas Black Chamber Scholarship where we awarded over 40 kids college scholarships. Um, and secondly, I attended a pep rally at Roosevelt High School um, that was sponsored by Group Excellence, but it was, but it was purposed to award um, and to motivate kids to do well on a tax test next week. While I was at these two events, a great thing happened to me in my mind. I noticed that at both events, the community rallied together uh, to honor and support our future, which are our high school students. Also, I saw that teachers were appreciated for all of their hard work they've done this year, both directly and indirectly. But once I was, at, I was in the state of euphoria, I, I realized something. One, we've got to reinforce um, and support our education system much more better um, as citizens. Um, we are the few, we are important to our future. Um, and we can't just allow only teachers to teach because those kids have to go home um, and they have to be in an environment that's conducive to learning so that they can be re-energized for school the next day. Um, so we as citizens, uh, whether we see kids on the street, um, whether we see them at our churches, at our events, make sure we are a positive influence to them. Um, but you can listen to more about that on my previous blog why are youth misguided uh, for a better explanation? The second thing I realized was that we need to make sure we preserve our future um, by preventing the lawmakers of our land uh, to cut education budgets. It doesn't make sense to cut education. Education is the backbone of this country. We need our teachers. We need our school systems um, because without that, um, the whole culture will be affected. Initially, it will be affected by having oversized classrooms and having to cut teachers. Um, but eventually, that will result in less, uh, less students learning more um, because there is not having that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teachers or with the smaller classrooms. So larger classrooms will prohibit them from learning as much as they can. Um, but also, that will hurt the workforce because companies will not want to hire Texans or hire people from this community in this area um, because they can go elsewhere to get a qualified workforce. So I have a couple of plans of action. Um, my first plan of action was, less is actually, let's teach um, a student as often as possible on whether it's how to tie a shoe um, or tie a tie. The small things count. Um, and again, go, go back to my previous blog with why are our youth misguided. Um, the second thing is tell our lawmakers, tell your senators, tell your representatives not to cut education because it will affect us tremendously. Um, that's all I have. Let's have a great weekend um, as, we, as we observe Resurrection Sunday. Um, realize that Good Friday wasn't that good because someone died. Have a good one.